In this video, the locals built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with a look at the docs. Locals takes no arguments and returns a dictionary representing the current local symbol table. Basically, a dictionary of what's in the local scope. The docs go on to say that it'll behave a little bit differently in functions versus class blocks. And then at the module level, locals and globals are the same dictionary. And it also gives us a note that if you try to modify things, um, it might not work. And I'll show you what that looks like a little later on. So let's start in the shell. We can print out globals and we can print out locals and they look like the same thing. And you can verify this. So globals is locals is true. Globals is locals at the module level. All right, so here I have a print names function which just prints out Brendan every time it runs. And what I thought would be interesting is to verify that globals is locals up here, kind of the same way that we did it in the shell. So we can check that out, run that, and see that globals is locals is true. And we could print out our locals up here too, just to see what we have available to us. So when we print that out, we get some built-in functions, we get the file, good to go. And if we decided to print that in our function itself, we would see that our locals, it's totally different than in that module scope. However, if you printed globals here, you're still going to get all that stuff that uh, we saw up in the module scope. So we can print that out, clear this, print that out, and globals is still printing everything, whereas locals is just printing a dictionary. What's interesting though is for locals, we actually have the name available to us, right? So we can uh, print that out, and we have the locals and we get our name. But if we did that same thing with globals and try to access that name, we're going to get an error. The name isn't available to us in the globals because it's inside a function, so it's only available to us locally. This means, of course, that if we did globals is locals in here, that is going to return false because you know one has the global scope and one has the local scope. I guess the last thing that I want to look at is that you would think that you could use locals and change the name here and say uh, fake name two. And you would think that if you printed it out, that uh, you would get the uh, our new name. Well, we'll find that that's not the case and the name is still Brendan. Basically, using locals, you can't actually modify things uh, as we read in the docs. What does that mean? I would say that locals is basically just a debugging tool to see what we have available to us in the local scope. And every time we you know create new variables and whatnot, last name equals M, then that's a good use for locals to uh, check what has been added to the scope, removed from the scope and so on. And as your app gets more complex, uh, this could be a useful tool.